All right, our next presenters star as Ma and Pa in Belfast. A movie with so many Irish accents to understand, I wish it were called Bell Slow. Please welcome Jamie Dornan and Katrina Boff. Hi. You're not uh, going to start singing, are you? No, no. Open up. No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> okay. Go. go. Oh, it's me. Uh, good evening, Ma. Nice yeah, we're not doing you. that bit. Um, to inhabit the lives of a family based on Kenneth's own, he created an on-set family for us to live in while shooting. As one of the most prolific artists of our time, going back to his family roots in Belfast shows the world where Kenneth's creative sparks first ignited. <laughs> the Belfast family... <laughs> Sorry, I'm pushing you away. <laughs> it's, it's my moment. Um, <laughs> The Belfast family in, uh, is one we'll carry in our hearts wherever we go. We're here to celebrate Kenneth Branagh himself, who is receiving the Excellence in Artistry Award. That's right. Not only is Kenneth Branagh nominated for Best Director this year, but Belfast is nominated for Best Picture. Here's a brief look at the remarkable artistry of Kenneth Branagh. Can everybody see me? Can you all hear me? We shall not cease from exploration, and the end of all our exploring will be to arrive where we started and know the place for the first time. Ken Branagh is a born storyteller. How would you like to die? Oh. You chose the wrong profession. Ken has enormous range as an actor. He can bring all his immense intelligence, gravitas, and wisdom to serious parts and serious drama. And also, he's constantly light and witty and warm and is a gift of comedy. It is certain I am loved of all ladies, only you accepted. And I would I could find in my heart that I had not a hard heart. I already see Ken Branner playing almost anything. That's why you've got to be on your toes when you do anything with him, because he'd probably play your part much better than you. My name is Hercule Poirot, and I am probably the greatest detective in the world. The figure he was most often compared with in the early days was Sir Laurence Olivier, who bridged stage to, to screen. For he today that sheds his blood with me shall be my brother. But in truth, for me, the connection was always more with Orson Welles, because he's a storyteller who understands that anything can be a tool for storytelling. This. It's all far from over. He's got that rare ingredient of being not only a great actor, but a great director. I've learned so much from watching him and just seeing how he is with every single person on the crew and every single person on the cast. He's just wonderful. There's really nothing that Ken can't do, and I think the reason why he is so flexible as a director in any kind of material is because he works so hard to find the emotional truth to every line of the script. You know who you are? Yes, Pa. Your buddy from Belfast, where everybody knows you. And the whole family looks out for you. Ken's amazing at that sort of bringing out like, all the core goodness of people. I want my family with me. I want you. As if directing isn't enough, he often plays the lead. You have to have a very extraordinary mind to be able to do that in order to have such concentration on knowing how you're going to shoot the film and knowing how you're going to slot into that. To be or not to be. Ken is curious about life and he applies his considerable intelligence in chasing those curiosities. The only true failure would be not to explore at all. Words. Please join me in welcoming our fearless leader and the pride of Belfast, Kenneth Branagh.
Thank you so much. You're very, very kind. I appreciate it. Uh, if you've seen this film, Belfast, uh, you'll know that Hollywood uh, plays quite a role. Uh, it gave through its movies to people in my part of Ireland whose lives were in trouble, uh, the escape of fantastic stories, and the encouragement for young imaginations to dream big. So now, to have made the literal journey from the streets of Belfast to the boulevards of Hollywood via the gift of movie making uh, is indeed uh, a dream come true. So thanks ever so much, HCA. Uh, you didn't have to do this, <laughs> but I thank you for it uh, sincerely. And although the word excellence uh, is in the title of this award, it's the pursuit of that quality not any thought of its achievement that drives me in my work. And when you get to be in a room like this, chock-a-block with artistic excellence, amazingly talented people brought together by other critically important people who so appreciate what we aspire to, at least, and who take the trouble to salute the effort, well, then you know that a life in the art of movies is truly a blessing. Uh, through the hard work and the talent of many more people than I can possibly name in one lifetime, I'm standing here, and through the recent miracles of all those beautifully parented by Focus Features who are responsible for our movie Belfast, I say thank you, and on their behalf, I will quote Mr. Shakespeare, very simply, and say, I can no other answer make but thanks and thanks and ever thanks. Thank you. Thank you. To present the HCA.